Hey guys, back with another health update. Thank you very much to every single one of you that has been with me on this journey. It is so encouraging knowing that there are thousands of you praying for me and rooting me on. So we are now back in Orange County. We're no longer up in San Francisco. As you can see, I'm recovering nicely from surgery. Got a little scar that's still healing there, but uh, virtually no pain. I'm not even taking Tylenol. Uh, fatigue is still a little high, uh, but that's normal. That'll continue to take a while to get back to speed on that, a couple months. Um, but it is good to be back at home um, and praising God for that. Now, I asked you on my last update to be praying very specifically for me as I was about to receive my pathology report. And I asked you, please pray that my brain cancer would be found to be a grade two, not a grade three. And so uh, a couple days ago, went back up to San Francisco, met with my neuro-oncologist, and she went through the pathology report with us, and we did not get the news that we hoped that we would have gotten. God did not answer our prayers the way we hoped that he would. And so in fact, my brain cancer is a grade three, which means that it is not slow growing it is uh, quickly multiplying. And it also means that the clinical trial that we had uh, selected uh, when we thought it was a grade two no longer applies to us. And so we will have to go with a much more aggressive treatment, the more standard chemo and radiation. And so I wanna ask you that you'd be praying for us now at this juncture. Uh, number one, that our spirits would be uh, lifted up and that uh, our eyes would continue to be locked on God. Because here's the truth of the matter. Although God did not answer as we would have hoped, he's still with me. He still loves me and he knows the way forward. Like anytime you have serious illness, uh, especially when there's no cure for the illness, the road forward is full of ups and downs. But we know that God makes our paths straight. And there's a lot of decisions that need to be made, a lot of different ways that you can go. But God knows the way forward and continues to move our path straight. And so be praying for us also that uh, God would grant us discernment on the best way to go. Because although the treatment plan is pretty standard, chemo and radiation, there are distinctions in that, specifically with the radiation. And so we're going to have to make some choices uh, that might put different financial strains on us. Uh, might cause us to have to relocate for two months to a different city or even possibly a different state. And so we're weighing that heavily. Uh, what's best for my health, what's best for the overall family, things like that. So your prayers are very, very important. It's not easy to be displaced. Uh, we made the best of our time up in San Francisco, but it's, uh, it was good to get home and back to Orange County because, you know, there's the creature comforts of your own home and when you're in an uncomfortable time, those things are even more important. Uh, but I do need to let you know of this awesome moment when we were leaving San Francisco. So we packed up the Airbnb and we uh, took all the unused groceries out of the refrigerator, put it in one grocery bag. And as we were uh, leaving, my wife and one of our stellar uh, church uh, children's ministry leaders who had been up with us that entire time approached a homeless man. Uh, to ask if he wanted the groceries. And my four-year-old daughter wanted to be the one to hand him the groceries. And so it's so cute because the grocery bag is almost as big as she is and she carries it right up to him. And as uh, my wife talks to him, uh, he is uh, very sweet in return and accepts the groceries. And my daughter's like, he was so nice. And for me, as a father, what a gift to be able to see my four-year-old daughter already serving the poor, already giving dignity uh, in places where others deny dignity. And so that, that did my heart well. And I'm a blessed man. Yes, there are many struggles in my life. There's struggles in all of our lives. And yet God is blessing me. And so please continue to pray for us. But no, you're one of the main blessings in my life. God has blessed me with a great support structure of people who are praying for me and rooting me on. And so you mean the world to me. I love you guys. Thanks.